Where's that pile of gems? Right here. I can't see it. I'll put it in my hand in a second. I'll just slide it right out onto the screen. Yeah, right where you are now is fine. Is that out of the, the blow you just had? Just put it right there by the mica. Yeah. Now you got something out of it anyway. Oh yeah. It was soggy. Oh, wow, that's heavy, huh? It's clum bite. It's a metallic mineral. Mmm. So this is the, what's today, the June 30th? I think so. Almost the 4th of July. <laughs> this is the almost 4th of July pocket. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you hit the next big one, it'll be 4th of July. You can go up against uh, Gary's 4th of July amethyst. Well, that wouldn't be hard to do. He got he got drafted in the service, and he went down to Texas. And he drove it down to Texas, and it never thing never did leak. No kidding. And it had a crack in it. Just because that stuff sealed it. Yeah. Well, I remember in in uh, electric shop, we had made a soldering iron in there, and uh, you take your windings and you wind it around the tube. And then he'd take sodium silicate and paint it on, and that would form a hard crystalline coat on it. Yeah. So I've had experience with it once before, and I, I came home, and I've sealed radiators with it. Really? Yeah. But I learned a lesson the hard way. The this one's terminated, Steve. Oh, I can't see it. It's gotta be down. What's the deal about it being terminated? They're gonna cut it into a, a they gem. If they're really nicely terminated, they don't cut them. They don't get turned into a gem. They are a gem. Gallon from them. In fact, it may still even be in here. What do they do with it? I don't know. They use it in their brick making. <laughs> <laughs> 